It's ready. There is uh, Bob Robinson in the water. And here we go. Uh, it's the seventh uh, game. Orcas against Triton. Czech Republic against Colombia. Two countries quite far away from each other. And uh, here we go. We have a, a fight out in the middle. And we go for the basket of uh, Triton Beru. And uh, the Orcas are checking quite hard. Uh, on, and already the first score. Okay. Less than 30 seconds. Go. Less than 30 seconds. 32 seconds, the first goal. Okay. Triton Baroon uh, will, will have to wake up here and uh, maybe they Colombia. don't have maybe they don't have the big experience with international teams. Yeah, it could be. Tenemos el primer gol para Orcas eh, después de 32 segundos de empezado el partido contra la República Checa. Eh, la gente de la República Checa del equipo de Triton es la primera vez que están en la Champions Cup, o sea que no tenemos eh, realmente idea de cómo juegan. Eh, y bueno, estamos eh, viendo que, qué tipo de, de táctica eh, usan y ver si el ataque de, la orca, de las orcas puede funcionar. Pero por ahora podemos ver que sí. So, uh, it, 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 the, the, the Colombian uh, attack machine is, is now in full uh, swing here. <laughs> and uh, we can see a call from the referees pushing against, uh, without ball, pushing against Wide defenders without throw. ball, free throw against uh, Orcas and now pushing, we holding pushing white free throw and uh, now we will see uh, probably breaking uh, Triton Berun breaking through and see yeah. an attack on the you Orca basket you are, I mean you probably you are right uh, they, maybe they don't have a lot of international experience but above all they don't have uh, the experience against the Orcas and we know that uh, they play quite a different kind of rugby that we play in Europe so that could be a surprise for anyone that Plays against them for the first time. I think Even what, if what they watch it on yeah. TV, it's not the same when you are playing. Look, look what uh, Berun is, is trying to do here. They try to to bring uh, the Orcas in this close one-to-one -one fight yeah. to stop them Never from free swimming. Throw. Playing yeah. outside the area. So the ball was outside the area. Free throw against Freeton Berun. Interesting game and uh, interesting start after less than 30 seconds. The first goal and the thing Berun. Uh, realized that this is going to play out differently than uh, probably they expected. Whatever they expected, we don't know. Well, um, but again, Orcas, Orcas attacking, and there was one Orca player stealing the basket from uh, the Varun team. And he's lying down there quite fast. The Orcas shouldn't uh, let Varun uh, uh, doing their uh, uh, physical game. Well, this Oka player is laying down there for well, don't forget quite a time. There was a lot of pushing it's, there. It's about 1,500 meters or so. So they do have uh, more air in, 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 a, in a physiological and, yeah. uh, way. Yeah. And we see the first time uh, Berun players breaking free of an attack of Orca and trying to break through. And uh, they lost the ball even uh, in their own half and they are now under attack again. Uh, it was a one-on-one -on -one play, but the player from the Orcas lost the ball on the closed side while attacking the goalkeeper, and the goalkeeper snatched away the ball and broke free. So uh, Triton Baru is waking up in this game and adapting to the style of the Orcas. Um, wow. Yeah, I guess that they really didn't expect what to expect and, and, and had to score that goal to wake up and yes. fully be in the game. But the, the way the see. you see the, the fluently swimming style of the Orcas uh, is, is, uh, is, is like a wave going in. And here we go again attacking uh, the Orcas. And uh, the Orcas dominate this game uh, in the first four minutes. And again an attack on the bus keeper. And that was uh, close. It was high attack, not from above, but high into the goalkeeper. And again, uh, second wave, third wave, fifth oh. wave going in. The ball is passed right in front of the goalkeeper. He didn't know where the ball was, was from the close side. And there's a call from the referee holding on the basket. And free throw. Blue free throw. And already an uh, Orca player stole the basket. He was The Orca player he was, was already, already down. Uh, already fighting on the water. And, and he it's came, I think it's is still lying there that's uh, an impressive feature because then you can interrupt the defense uh, before the free throw hey, happens well okay he got the ball so that's what i mean they were fighting ball is already on another call that, but that was a fall that was a fall because it was holding, holding. Was oh yeah no free throw yes because yeah oh. yeah, yeah i was a holding sign i thought he was making a the, penalty the wide, sign the wide player was holding the the yeah. player of the orca without the ball so um 
I, I, I was surprised they didn't call it earlier, but probably they were just giving the chance maybe to score, but because it didn't happen, then they call it. And they keep coming. Uh, oh, now it's getting passing. physical. They, they try to play the ball very open and very free, and they are now... Uh, and on the from attack from the open side, one player was already no. waiting there. Rápido, and el balón, excellent eh, executed. Blue number 39, y el de defensa tampoco, así que bueno, están tratando de evitar los chicos de Orcas el juego físico, eh, están tratando de nadar más y mover el balón más para eh, precisamente no desgastarse peleando eh, con, con, con fuerza. 2-0 for uh, the Orcas and uh, more than 5 minutes played in this first half Orca from Colombia in blue and uh, Triton Berún from the Czech Republic in white. And uh, we see now uh, uh, the whole camera from the pool uh, uh, surface. Could we please have a view from uh, the game down in the water? Uh, is there anybody uh, there giving us a view in the game, please? Uh, down there? Hello? What? We don't see the game. Ah, okay. Ah, Lorena is, al is also not in the game. No, sorry. <laughs> Could somebody please switch the camera? The game is still on and we don't have a... Oh, that's the old I know. picture. We're still uh, looking at the uh, change, I mean, the, the surface camera. Uh, we can see the orcas here on the blue side, uh, on the right side of the pool. On the left are the uh, Czech team with a white color. And uh, we can see that they're above the goal of the... Now we are... Uh, White free throw. Free throw pushing. for the white team, apparently pushing without the ball. We couldn't see because the uh, camera was still on the surface, but now uh, we are back uh, on the water and from the middle, we are going to have free throw executed by the Czech team. They got the ball. The Orcas are already in the middle of trying to cut to the cover. We have one Czech player under the basket, the goalkeeper alone. But uh, they still, okay, now we're getting closer, but the defender blocked the pass and uh, almost recovered the ball. Now the Czech team has the ball and trying to come, they're changing the goalkeeper. They just kick the ball away. The goalkeeper recover and is trying to do a pass to move the ball farther away. Something happened. Uh, surface. Attacking the head. Attacking the head. Attacking the head. Blue free throw. Then a free throw for the blue, and probably I would try to, to steal the basket. We can see we have a seal, uh, the, the camera on this side. Sorry for this glitch uh, with the camera uh, switching. We didn't see much of the game, but uh, we well. all have to get tuned in. So back in the game here, uh, Orca attacking 2 Sierra, Orca from Colombia in blue and Triton Berun in white from the Czech Republic and the Orcas are attacking hard but uh, in, in, the, in the close quarter of the uh, Czech basket they cannot do their swimming they have to go in physically and here uh, Triton Berun is uh, that's their game I guess from from what I see here um, and uh, they they are used to this uh, physical one-on-one -on -one fight and they are good with it and they are difficult to keep um, to, to, to push away even when you go in with force. So well done here defending by Triton Berun. Um, they were getting more and more into the rhythm with the Colombians. Um, trying to get through there into the half of the Colombians but one uh, ah, well recovered by Triton Berun. The pass was very far away but nevertheless the Berun player was faster back in the ball they recovered the ball from uh, the Colombian side and tried to swim away. Something happened. It's a little bit rough. Uh, white rough free throw. White free throw. I mean... Attacking mask. White free throw. Okay, attacking the mask. So we are counting down the time in the first half here from uh, Orca of Colombia against uh, Tito Peru from Czech Republic. 30 seconds left and it's a 2-0 lead for the Colombian players and I guess uh, they, they quite dominate the game even though Triton Berun is waking up and is getting in the game and is now in the half of uh, the Orcas even though they lost the ball Berun lost the ball 
and uh, the Orca player tried to swim on the surface, was stopped by a Baroon player and uh, lost the ball to Baroon. And again, uh, Orcas in ball possession and the first half is over with a 2-0 lead for time. the Inside. Orcas. It was not that a surprise. I think the first goal was a surprise with uh, less than 30 seconds, yeah. but uh, seconds it looks sorry. like the Czech didn't know what to expect yes, and sir? they didn't expect that. Yeah. I think so too. I think there was the surprise uh, fact. Moment, yeah. Right. Two and seven Definitely. Out. And then they recovered a little bit and then um, the, the second goal was a really good White, 17, 33 in. fought tour. Dry and dry um, interesting to see the uh, Colombians, um, like I said, they come uh, each time with a different team. They have uh, different players, some of the uh, main players like uh, Samuel Gaviria, Camilo Diaz, uh, um, Federico Londonio. Yeah, all, the all these known players, but they always bring new players with them um, who never played uh, the Champions Cup. So you never know what you want to expect. Yeah, they have, have the, the, yeah, they have, of course, the main team, but it's also um, the, the question of who can afford to pay, you know, the flights to come yeah. here and yeah. to stay here. Um, the for South Americans, this is quite expensive, so it's a, it's a work, it's a teamwork of throughout the year, not just training physically, condition, technique, tactic. Yesterday we got a great insight into the Orgas training from Samuel during the um, 26. At the U Academy. UW Academy. That was great. But uh, also it's, it's preparing uh, and, and uh, collecting money to afford the cost. It's an it's a, it's a e a, a year-round project. The moment the Champions Cup is over, they start again from scratch uh, with, with everything. So um, that's uh, really um, one of the main difficulties uh, for the Colombians. They cannot bring the best team. They can bring the best team that can afford it, and that makes yeah. uh, a bit of a difference. I'm not saying it's not cheap for all of us here in Europe, but the cost uh, is a little bit more affordable for some of the countries uh, closer um, to Berlin. Let's, let's put a little bit respect here uh, into the comments for the teams coming from far, far away. That will be Australia for sure, yeah. team from Australia, the USA as well. and the USA and the Colombians. Um, we hear some That's complaints of some teams with the costs and everything, but uh, putting it all together, uh, what these teams uh, invest coming over here to play with us, uh, puts into everything uh, into shame uh, what we have to expand uh, coming from Germany or even the Norwegian uh, uh, in yeah. the countries. Um, so it's, uh, it's great that they, you know, they, they, they plan the whole year yeah. Big to, thanks. to be able, because it, it's great, it really makes us uh, better for our sport, yeah. for all of us to, to, for f to develop the... Big thanks to the teams from the US, Australia and uh, Colombia. And the one uh, here in the uh, video we just saw was Bob Robinson, our referee from Berlin. And here we are back again. Second half, Colombia against Czech Republic, and this is a fast game. Already an uh, Orca player snatched away the basket from uh, from the Czech goalkeeper, and that was fast. That was fast swimming because the goalkeeper didn't make it in time, even though he saw the Colombian player. And Colombia player still lying on the basket. He didn't succeed pushing the ball he got from the player into the basket. Call from the referees, pointing on the Czech player. Free throw against. Uh, if, if anyone from the Czech Republic is listening, <laughs> how many teams do you have in your league? Uh, we, we have you know, one. Budweiser here's one, Matthias Dui. Sorry if I spell your name wrong. You're in the chat. Can you tell us something about uh, the Czech Republic? If you have a league system, how you're organized? Um, how many teams do you have? I mean, normally Budweiser uh, comes. Yeah. Yep. yeah, and we don't know much about uh, underwater rugby in Czech Republic. So uh, what we saw just here, Triton Baroon uh, takes more care when they get a free throw against them to defend their basket, stay down, defend the basket, because they've seen how fast the Oka players snatch away the basket from them. And uh, we have now uh, Triton Baroon players trying to break free through the forechecking uh, in their own half. Um, and the Orca succeed getting the... Okay, uh, Czech Republic has two leagues. Thank you for this information. Um, 
What are the teams? Do you can you have the the names uh, apart because from Triton Peru? I mean, we had Let's go in the It's times. interesting yep. here. Sorry. Um, <laughs> again, attack uh, from the outcast from the close side, but they lose the ball and are stopped immediately in the middle um, by the forechecking of the Orcas. But nevertheless, that's a better game we see from Triton than in the beginning. They're getting more and more yeah, in the game. Right. They adapt to the rhythm of the Orcas, and the drums of the Orcas are beating hard. You can see that. Well, yes, I mean, they uh, are here to win. I mean, they train all year to win. I know that all of the teams come here because they're willing to win. Uh, but Orcas uh, has been here many more times than Triton, uh, and uh, they have been second and third place a few times, and they are fed up with throw. that. Free throw so against Triton Beru, time. and I think uh, Matthias Doi wants me to say Chicken Sensei. I say it for you. Please post it again. <laughs> what is Chicken Sensei? I don't know. Sensei is normally a teacher, but here we go back again. Orcas attacking, um, and they're having a harder job now, breaking through to the basket, and uh, Triton Baroon switch to defense and uh, get their physical game they can succeed with. Now we have an attack on the open side and a call from the referee. Bob Robinson calls uh, Crip to the head. White free throw. And it's a free throw against uh, Orcas. Attacking the mask. Thank you for the information uh, about the Czech League, uh, Matt. Thank you very much. Yeah. Said you're not here with us like last year, but at least you're watching the game. Thanks a lot. Well, yep. Yeah. Let's see. We're in the middle. They're fighting. They're getting to that physical game that the Orcas are trying to avoid. And I like the fin art of the Orcas. Uh, they they use they do uh, paint or uh, tape their fins. Like the Goki we see there, like it, gives it style. So uh, Triton Beru in the middle of the pool, fighting hard one on one uh, for every inch through the Colombian fort checking defense. And are now they managed to succeed to go to the corner, but in the corner, almost close to the corner, they lose the ball. And the Orca switch and go in attacking mode. Two against yeah. one on the Triton Beru. Basket Tenemos and the Oka player is on the basket. So um, we see, I, I guess, what do you think, Lorena? But I see a different uh, Triton Baroon Berin, uh, team in the second half. They go in the more, uh, um, they take over the, the, the game and attacking heavily now the Orca basket. And the Orcas have difficulties to keep them away, even though they are, they are counter attacking now. But um, they, the Baroon players seem to have found a remedy against these fast counter attacks and uh, they stop them. They are succeeding in stopping them. Well, the thing is, if the Orcas cannot really play their game and their, uh, the, 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 the fast game of swimming, they have to start fighting physically for the ball, then that's going to wear them out because um, they are uh, a bit smaller from size and that costs a lot of strength yeah. uh, to fight physically uh, in, in a two-fight. Two, uh, so we now have the mobile camera active uh, too, but the side is not very good when it's moving. Let's see how it, this works out. And uh, Orca is still in attacking mode, and uh, they do their uh, attacking machine one on one, and then one on Check. the open side oh. is waiting, receiving the ball, going in. Now the second one comes in on the open side. Oh, that! that I didn't see if it was the call before. Go blue, number 26. Yes. Ah, yeah, it was a goal. Yeah. Goal. 26. 26. Blue, what's goal. the name of uh, player 26, 26 from the Orcas? So it's a 3-0 from the Orca against... Uh, this is Juan Carlos Quintero, que acaba de hacer el tercer gol de Orcas contra Triton. So Sean from Singapore team, uh, you would like to be at the Champions Cup. Maybe next year we will be looking forward to have a team from Singapore here. Uh, please apply. Would love to have you here. Okay, it's a 3-0 and uh, three and a half minutes left in the second half. 
Uh, and Triton Varun is uh, doing much, much better. If they would have been uh, in the game like this from the beginning, I think it would be more have been more difficult for uh, the Orcas to well, score. The problem is that in these kind of tournaments everywhere, but more, mostly in the Champions Cup, you need to be, from the second one, the best you can be. You cannot... Absolutely, yeah, yeah, no, no question so about that. Here again, another attack, attack from Orcas, oh, 101. The goalkeeper didn't see that the, the, the Orca play was underneath. That's a pity. It was almost, almost uh, um, scored the fourth uh, tour. But the way Triton Berun is playing here, they could uh, could have a chance to score because when they get through to the basket of uh, the Orca team from Colombia, uh, the the house is burning. It's really they put pressure into it and uh, wouldn't underestimate and wouldn't say they don't have a chance to score in the next two and a half minutes. But uh, don't ignore Remember. the fact the uh, Orca players from Colombia are probably and they are a super prime. Uh, uh, conditioning and already here we see an attack from the open side the ball was breaking oh, that was passed through close. and it was a very close game uh, uh, the ball was passed from the close side to the open side to the player waiting and again the second wave coming in another player waiting on the and here it is it's like goal, a machine goal. very well done sorry what are you saying no i was just saying that they're um, in the group d together Number 11, with one uh, one goal first goal. raiders so orcas triton and first raiders and uh, the Perth Raiders from Australia. So this is the first uh, game of that uh, group. D. Okay. Who was the no goal? And uh, no goal. Did we start with uh, start with the what? Uh, the referee ball. A referee ball. Okay, something happened. Oh, so it was a question from Manuel. Yeah, because they, they, he said no goal. Or of course, no. They put it. it must it. be a referee ball then. Has to be a referee ball. I see the goal. Ah, the, the referees are discussing. We see it now on the surface. No goal, or? No goal. Okay, referee ball. Referee ball. Yep. No goal! No goal! Referee okay. ball! Uh, Triton Berun is quite happy. The Orcas no are. Uh, the goal didn't count. That doesn't change much. Uh, it does only change from uh, C 3 0 to. Yeah, from 4 0 to 3 0. But some, actually, some the fault po uh, happened before because they they really sound the the horn before the goal, and we couldn't see what happened. But well, now the um, orcas have the have recovered the ball, are coming to to the wow, uh, This is a heavy attack, attack. and it's everyone is under the basket. Uh, the goalkeeper doesn't know what's going on. I mean, this can be very stressful. We have this kind of fight uh, around and. Uh, um, defender just got the ball and is trying to swim away but got intercepted by one of the players of Orcas that got the ball now and is passing to one uh, of the players on the water that is already underneath that is fighting against poor white from the Czech Republic. Uh, less than 30, 40 minutes, 40 seconds left in the second half and it's a 3 to 0 lead for the Orcas. And uh, time is counting down. And uh, the Orcas are attacking, but uh, heavily interrupted by uh, a Triton Berun play, and who even uh, snatched the ball out of the attack of the Orcas. Call from the referees. Free throw against the Orcas. Crip to the mask. White free throw. Attacking uh, equipment. White free throw. Yeah, attacking equipment was uh, holding the mask. One of the Orca players accidentally didn't hold the ball about the mask. So 3-0 for Orcas. That's it. 3 para los chicos de Orcas contra la República Checa en el primer juego de esta Champions Cup para Orcas y para Triton Verón. Okay, this will be a very, very interesting Champions Cup because uh, right at the moment I'd like to see uh, Rixu against uh, Orcas. That will be interesting uh, from what we've seen up till now uh, from the teams playing. Um, very well done by Orcas. Muy bien, chicos de 